What is going on guys, Greg here today. I'd like to talk about what Zur has to offer. Of course, today is Friday, February the 18th. Zur is located up on the hill in the EDZ. First of all, this week for the exotics, we have the Trinity Ghoul bow. If you do not have this bow, it's one of my favorite uh, bows in the game. I absolutely love the extra, the lightning rod, the fire, uh, fires an arrow that splits when released. It is a really unique bow, so if you do not have it, I would highly recommend picking it up. Also, the Graviton Forfeit, which gives you improved visibility. It does not have the greatest role, in my opinion. You have some good mobility, some recovery, intellect, and strength. Also, we have the Rampart uh, Titan Gauntlets, which are rolled mainly for strength and resilience. You and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade, which is pretty handy in some situations. And last, not, uh, last but not least, we have the Versed Helmet for the uh, Warlock. I actually like the look of this helmet. I don't use mine a lot, but I really love the look of it. Of course, this is rolled with mobility, resilience, and strength, and this gives you improved blink. If you like using blink in PvP, I definitely might uh, consider picking this up. When it comes to the gear this week, of course, I am on my Hunter, so make sure you check this out on your Titan and Warlock. We have a pair of gauntlets that are rolled high mobility and discipline at 61, a pair of, uh, uh, or a chest piece that's rolled uh, high recovery and intellect at 63. Of course, the cloak, the helmet is rolled resilience and intellect at 63, and the legs are rolled mobility, recovery, intellect, and strength. So these are all pretty good rolls, pretty high rolls, actually. I mean, these legs here are 66. When it comes to the weapons, we have the Enigma's Draw Sidearm with full auto trigger system and rapid hit, the 7th Seraph Officer Revolver, one of my favorite looking revolvers in the game. I just really like the way this weapon looks. We have Pulse Monitor and Time Payload. We have Nature of the Beast with Quick Draw and Dragonfly, which would be a pretty good role for whatever you want to use it in. I mainly would be, in my opinion, with the Dragonfly, a good PvE role. Also, the Wishbringer Shotgun with Field Prep and Moving Target. The Long Shadow Sniper with uh, Hip Fire Grip and Triple Tap. Uh, of course, the Grenade Launcher here with Thermal uh, Plastic Grenades, Field Prep, and Swashbuckler. And Stars in Shadows with Field Prep and Moving Target. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Zer has this week, uh, what he has this week. And let me know also what you're going to be picking up. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.